Hello everyone, welcome back. So today I am going to be giving you a review on the La Mer Soft Fluid Long Wear Foundation. Before I get started, for those of you that are new to my channel, let me introduce myself. My name is Josephine Fusco and I am a professional makeup artist based out of New York. And I want to welcome you to this review. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already and give this video a thumbs up if you wind up liking it. So let's get into the review. I wanted to start with giving all of you a little information on the product itself. The foundation itself costs $110. Packaging is just simply elegant and simple, just like all of the La Mer products that they carry. So for $110, you get one fluid ounce. They do have a nice color range on the foundation itself. The foundation does come with SPF 20, which is an added bonus for those of you that do like SPF in your foundation. So there are 15 shades with this foundation and it is known what their signature is for this foundation is that it is going to blur out the pores. It is going to give you released hydration to skin that might be dry or aged. Um, and it's going to contain its miracle broth, which La Mer is known for all these healing anti-aging properties in its product. In the foundation itself, it does contain something called a color capsule, which is supposed to really stay true to the color that you are matched with. You will be able to get a good color match, but what's even better is that the foundation will probably wind up melting into your skin. Now before I did my review, which you're going to see in just a minute, I really didn't do a lot of research on the product because I wanted to give you guys my full like thoughts on it as I was applying it. And it's really supposed to make your imperfections literally disappear. If you watched my other La Mer review, obviously you knew I was crazy about that foundation and I thought that one was just wonderful. But for this one, I have to say, I'm, I'm just like really impressed. It just has this beautiful finish to the skin. Now, the reason why I am, La Mer is getting like even more and more um, hype is for the fact that there are a lot of celebrity makeup artists that are swearing by these products for their clients. And one of them happens to be a celebrity makeup artist, Patrick Ta, which I followed for like the longest time, like when he just first started out doing celebrities. And I just couldn't believe how phenomenal like his work was. Anyway, he became a beauty ambassador with La Mer and he swears by this foundation. And he has used this foundation on so many different celebrity clients, as well as just like even beauty bloggers and beauty vloggers. And you could see how beautiful the finish is on their skin. So I'm going to get into the review so that I could show you guys my thoughts on it. I am going to do two different applications, one different on each side of the face. So I think what I'm going to do is on this side of the face, I'm going to use the Beauty Blender. And then on this side of the face, I'm going to use the Makeup Forever 108 Foundation Brush. And then if I really have to, I'm going to go in with the It Cosmetics Heavenly Luxe Foundation Brush. I want to see how it applies. Uh, let's see what luck I have with both and uh, let's see which one is better. So the shade that I have here is linen number 13. Now you could see that it has a nice consistency. The fluid does, you know, go down really nice on this. So usually what I do is I take the product and I just start warming it up in my hand like that. <clears throat> Let's do it. So I'm going to take the Pro Beauty Blender. I like this Beauty Blender the best because I like the way it puts the foundation onto the skin. This is the only one that I use. Let's have a scent to it. I will tell you guys right now if you're not into scents, I don't know if this is something that you are ultimately going to like for your foundation. Can't really pick up exactly what it is now. It's a little floral. So right now what I can tell you is the foundation really is like skin. I'm applying it and it is literally melting, like melting literally right into my skin. Okay, as of right now with the Beauty Blender, I think that uh, the product really doesn't get lost so far. I think it actually applies really nice to the skin. I think it looks like like skin, like literally like skin. It melts right in. Um, and I feel like that it's not like oily. The only thing I have on my skin underneath is the It Cosmetics Confidence in a Cream. And I really happen to like that uh, moisturizer because I don't feel that it gets overly moisturizing. 
I know I've heard some people say that the product does get oily, but we'll see what happens in a few hours. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to this side and I'm gonna use the foundation brush. I'm gonna go in with the 108 brush. This consistency is absolutely beautiful. It's far different than other foundations that I've tried. And I'm taking the foundation and I'm like literally patting it in to my skin. The scent is a little strong. I, I don't know if some of you are gonna be able to get past the smell. Almost like, I don't know, it has like a little bit of a chemical scent to it, but not really. It, it's probably some of the marine biology that's in this product. Okay, so equally, I'm getting a great um, application with both options. Um, this is one pass, so one pump on both sides, just so that you know. The, this side, I did the Beauty Blender. This side, I did the 108 Foundation Brush. Right now, to me, this is light, slightly medium coverage. I really wouldn't even say that one pump is gonna give you medium coverage, but for those of you that really aren't into foundation, this might be a little bit uh, more for you, but say light coverage right now. Um, I think that this, I mean, I, I've had a lot of foundations that really look like skin. Um, this might take the cake on all of those foundations, all of those natural looking foundations. Sorry, my arm is this way because of the way I'm filming, but. I think personally that this might really take the cake on uh, skin appearance. I'm not into setting my foundations, not such a huge fan of doing that, so it's not something I'm gonna do today. I wanna see the longevity of it, but uh, ultimately right now, I, I think that this really is such a beautiful finish. The finish alone is so nice. I don't feel like I'm cakey. I feel like my skin can definitely peek through. Um, gently with that one pump and I think it overall gives a really nice finish. So I think what I'm gonna do is go in with just one more layer and see how it is on the skin. So again, taking my Beauty Blender and I'm gonna go in with one more layer. You know, ultimately, when it, initially when it goes on, it feels like there's going to be a little bit of a glow, but I don't see it afterwards, and I, I, I think that's great. So if you do have normal skin, I think this is going to be great. Now, let's see how it lasts in a few hours, how the finish is, if it's oily, if it's going to give me a glow. I have a lot to do today anyway. I have to prepare for my clients for the weekend. This is so beautiful. I thought that I liked the other um, La Mer foundation that I did a review on. I thought that was great. I don't know, this is just absolutely stunning, this foundation. All right, I have my makeup on and I am back. And I have to tell you that this foundation is absolutely stunning. Um, I was doing my makeup and I noticed that there was like this slight little glow to it, but not like oily, right? Uh, and I saw that for like maybe a quick couple seconds when I was putting on my eyeshadow and I was going back and forth with the mirror, you know, looking, looking at my pores, coming back, looking if it was adhering anywhere. And you guys have to remember, I'm not a huge believer in wearing primer all the time. Now, when you're working with clients, that's one thing, and I happen to actually like facial primers when I'm working with clients. But for myself, when I'm doing my makeup, I'm not such a huge fan of always wearing primers. And I do feel that a lot of times you don't get to see the beauty of the foundation when you wear a primer. So um, you guys know I only have the It Cosmetics Confidence in a Cream on. And what I can tell you is that I have yet to have seen like a foundation like this. I feel that it has completely blurred my pores. Like, I was looking in the mirror and I was going back and forth I was, as I was doing my makeup and looking in these areas like where my pores come out a little bit and they were blurred, like literally blurred. And a lot of times the foundation will sit on the pore and you'll see it, it'll like cover it, but you will see that like there's that little tiny like hole there. But what I noticed with this is that it blurred it. So the more I kept going like back and forth into the mirror, like. I would see it a little bit and then it would disappear and it would be gone. And I haven't really experienced any of that with the foundation. So right now, I think that this foundation is absolutely beautiful. The only thing that's really throwing me off right now is the scent. I don't know what it is. You know, I'm suffering from a little bit of a cold right now and I feel like the scent itself made me get worse. 
I don't feel like it's gathering right here in my lines and usually that's what happens to a foundation and immediately it goes here so you know I'm overall I'm really impressed with it so I hope that I continue to feel this way with it and I will touch base with all of you in a little bit okay so I am almost at four hours at this point and I have to tell you really no movement it still looks like skin I you know I, I noticed that there is no like accumulation in this area right here where I get the 11s and my skin maybe just a drop right here in this little laugh line that I have right here it's kind of like you see it as I'm like talking a little bit I noticed that um, other than that it hasn't moved it still looks like my skin it looks great so at four hours it's still really good I'm gonna check back with you guys in a few more hours okay so I have had this foundation on for a little I think almost nine hours at this point and I have to tell you it really has not moved I mean if anything it just starts to look more and more natural like your own skin as the day progresses I'm a little red right here because I've been rubbing my nose blowing it so I'm sorry about that I have to tell you nothing has been accentuated on my skin now it still looks like skin to me I don't see any pores that have come out my 11s are still there but not accentuated like some foundations they get kind of like stuck in the fine lines and the wrinkles this didn't do any of that I mean it really had like really nice consistency all day and I'm not really like that glowy or oily um, sorry my lipstick is a little messed up what I could tell you is that this is a semi matte foundation not a full matte and it's not full glow so you're gonna get somewhere in between with that natural looking skin that has as the day progresses you just have like that natural looking glow nothing too oily to me that is a beautiful finish so I have to tell you I am quite impressed with this foundation because I feel like I got like this long-lasting finish that just lasted the same way throughout the entire day now I had seen a couple of mixed reviews on YouTube some people had said that they got very oily some had said that <clears throat> it moved a little bit on their face and you know I have to be honest with you I think a lot of it has to do with the skincare that you're using prior to putting on this product so um, a lot of times primer can actually ruin the way the foundation is supposed to last so just keep that in mind for the future um, I just feel that if you prep your skin the right way with the right skincare you may not need a primer and the foundation could probably sit on your skin so much better I just want to give you my final thoughts on the product itself now to conclude from everything that I spoke about in this video I just want to let you know for a hundred ten dollar price point if you are into high-end foundations this is going to be right up your alley um, of all the foundations that I have tried that are higher end I have to say that um, this foundation is something quite different than what I've experienced and I have to tell you I just feel like it looks like my own skin but I'm so polished and it looks absolutely stunning on the skin I think this is going to be a great investment for your kit if you're looking for a high-end foundation to have in your professional makeup kit as well as your personal kit and a little bit goes a long way so you know for me I just feel like the one pump would really look so beautiful on the skin there are so many of you that come to me that just want to look so nice and they don't care about the price point on a foundation so I think that this is something that is going to be great across the board from young to mature skin and it's just gonna look great now if you're interested in putting this in your kit go with like three shades that you can mix together so that you could save some money it'll probably cost you about $350 but if you're looking into you know purchasing it and and having it as part of your kit I think this is going to be a great addition and again for personal use I think that this is just phenomenal I think that this is such a beautiful foundation far different than all the other natural foundations that I have I mean like completely different now, I want to tell you a little bit about the ingredients that were in this foundation that I found to be very intriguing and you know it's very hard to find products that contain this stuff because these are like really good anti-aging emollients that go into the product itself that create this phenomenal look on the skin there's a seaweed extract there is a sesame seed oil if you guys know that sesame seed oil is very good for immunity it's excellent for anti-aging and it's very good for keeping you healthy so just imagine what that would do on your skin there's an alfalfa seed powder there's eucalyptus oil there's sunflower oil now those alone are really good products like that give you good oils on the skin if you guys know anything about um, beneficial oils for you to ingest sunflower oil is like one of those that are on the list and there's st john's wort 
which is very calming for the skin. The only thing that threw me off a little bit is that there is a soybean protein, and I kind of try to stay away from soy, especially if you're a female, but I mean, I guess on the skin, uh, depending on the product itself with the soybean, uh, I guess that little amount is okay. So my final thoughts are, this is a great foundation, and I really hope that you guys enjoyed this in-depth review. Please don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you liked it, and I will see all of you in my next video. Thank you so much.